Hello. Thanks for joining us today at PAC Expo Connects. My name is Tom Garvey, and I'm the president here at Garvey Corporation. And I'm Mike Gerling. I'm the vice president of sales. And we're here to talk about um, our different types of accumulation systems that we have. We're going to get one of the most popular accumulation systems we have is our patented Infinity accumulation system. And we're going to show a quick video that shows the different types of Infinities we build and some of the benefits that they can provide you and your production line. And after the video, we can go into more detail um, and bring up some common questions that we often get asked. Garvey's mission is to maximize your production. One of the ways we can achieve this is by analyzing your production lines and incorporating accumulation systems to keep your constraint running. The Infinity Accumulation Table is one of those buffers and it's our most versatile machine because it's basically five machines in one. Besides its main function of being a buffer to protect the constraint, it can also single file products at faster rates than any other machine on the market. It can easily get products into multiple lanes to feed a case packer or a robotic system. It can also be configured to serve as a distribution system to feed multiple locations around its perimeter. Finally, our 3D Infinity can unscramble as well as orient rectangular products. Another advantage is that products can enter the system either in a single file or in a mass flow via a conveyor or a tray loader. Garvey's patented pressureless loop technology eliminates back pressure and enables the Infinity to easily handle even the most unstable products like small vials, tapered cups, and even reverse tapered wine bottles. Garvey systems are designed to be as simple as possible, ensuring the highest level of reliability as well as the lowest total cost of ownership. The Infinity is available in sizes ranging from 15 square feet to 150 square feet. If more accumulation is needed, we'll design a custom system to meet your requirements. The Infinity will maximize your production by enabling your production line to keep moving. For more information or to schedule a free Garvey line analysis, contact one of our sales engineers at Garvey.com. We hope that was helpful. And uh, one of the things that uh, is interesting today is Mike was one of the inventors of the Infinity Accumulation System. So it might be uh, interesting to find out how the Infinity got developed and invented, what issues you were having, what were you using before the Infinity. Yeah. And one common question is, uh, once you explain all that, how do you know how big to make these tables? Because we can make them in various sizes as we saw in that video. Good question. So the main reason for accumulation is to help our customers increase overall throughput of their line. And um, uh, we can help with that to identify uh, the constraint uh, of the production line and keep everything, uh, keep the line moving, keep your constraint moving when it's capable of running. But to answer Tom's question, um, we make many different series of accumulation systems and they have evolved over the course of the last 20 to 30 years. And um, so how we came up with the Infinity is we, we had a project um, for a customer and we were running a PET bottle and um, we tested it, we were able to run it uh, during the test period. And then when we built the equipment, our customer came to us and said, this is great. We need to run one other bottle, which is a, a high density polyethylene bottle. And it would not work on our system. So we had to figure out a way of, um, uh, of eliminating, we had a by flow, that's what we were quoting at the time, but the reversing lanes uh, were causing the bottle to spin and fall. So we had to come up with a way of preventing that bottle from hitting two chains and spinning. And that's how we came up with our infinity loop. So hope that answers that question. Yeah. <laughs> and it's worked, it, it's worked with a lot of unstable products. That's when we created the infinity. That's when we started getting into the wine industry with the reverse tapered bottles, because uh, on the infinity, there's no back pressure and there's no change in direction. So very tall, unstable products work very well on the Infinity. That's what we specialize in. Right. What, what causes back pressure is when you have a product stationary and the chain running underneath of it. Um, that causes back pressure. And our table, our uh, Infinity, 
eliminates that from happening. So if the downstream equipment stops, we extend a gate and we start accumulating on the table and it's always in motion. The product is always flowing in one direction and that's in a circle, but there's no back pressure. And we um, can build the table up uh, from the outside to the inside. And we can also get a first in, first out uh, type of effect um, with our infinity if we enter in a different location. So uh, we have multiple patents on the Infinity, and uh, it runs anything from small vials to um, a rectangular product using our 3D um, uh, patent, um, and to tapered wine bottles at uh, pretty high rates of speed. One of the biggest issues with, with back pressure, um, if you have it, when you're dealing with a wine bottle, one of the biggest uh, concerns a customer has is its label. If you see a product that is, is scuffed in a supermarket or a grocery store or a, um, you know, a, a beverage store, if, if there's any scratches on it, you're going to put it down and buy a new one. So we um, have to make sure that we do not damage that, that label or dent a, a PET bottle or anything else like that. Even in the cosmetic industry, we've made oh, equipment for really absolutely. high polished containers and we can't scratch them at all either because uh, of the way they have to look in the store. Right. And, and now, uh, because of the pharmaceutical industry and, and COVID, they're, they're running these vials, which is a 2ML, 3ML vial at very, very high rates of speed. And we um, uh, changed our infinity to, to run these bottles or vials uh, at really, really high rates of speed um, without having them tip over um, um, uh, or scratch. And, um, you know, so, so it can go through an inspection machine without being rejected. And uh, we have multiple systems uh, that we show right here. Um, the one to my left is a small RX infinity. And that is to handle small vials in a very, very small space especially in the pharmaceutical industry. And the, the uh, banner to the right is our uh, vial dryer, and that is to take product from a cold chain, dry it, and reduce that time that that product's out of the cold chain from 48 hours to roughly about 15, 15 minutes. minutes the most. And then we single file that product using our infinity to feed either a labeler or inspection machine. Um, and with the rates of today's labelers and inspection machines, we're the only people that can meet the rates, single file product to get it to at the rates that they can hit at eight to 900 files per minute. Right. And also to keep this product from getting scratched or uh, being a defect because the product that's in here could be extremely expensive. Now we have another presentation uh, if you continue to look through our website about a line analysis. But Mike, can you quickly tell like, how big of a machine do you need? How do you determine how large of an infinity you need? Because we make them in various sizes. Right. So once we do the line analysis, we'll identify where the constraint is on the line. And then we look at your, your non-constraint machine's downtime. So in a typical line, you may have a case packer on the end. And that case packer has, when it, when it does go down, it takes a little time to get it back up and running. So let's say it's three minutes. Well, that every time, if you have no, no buffer in the line, any time that case packer stops, it's going to go down for three minutes, and that is causing your filler to be down for three minutes. And if, if, if your filler's not running, you're not making money. So what we do is put a buffer in that area that's just a little bit bigger or larger than three minutes. So if the case packer goes down, you can start filling that up with, with product from the filler. And once it's almost at the three-minute range, you should have your case packer up and running, and then that case packer should have excess capacity, and you can um, deplete what's in the table, and you can have your protective capacity back. So that's how we size the table, is looking at your non-constraint machines downtimes to determine the, the size of that. Now, when you're, go you're going to be filling it at your filler rate, so you, you, you uh, multiply those two together, and that'll give you how many bottles a minute or uh, bottles you have to store on that table. So if you're interested in, in talking to us, we would love to talk to you. You can get to us by uh, visiting us at garvey.com or you can uh, get to us by the Pack Expo Connect virtual uh, booth. 
Uh, hopefully, we'll hear from you soon. Thanks for joining us today. Bye-bye.